Hi, this is Echo92503 on YouTube. I'm coming to you again with a buck of bin swap on yourpaperpantry.ning.com where you buy 12 items between the price of a dollar and a dollar fifty and you send it into your group host and however many people join, she divides those uh, items back up randomly and you get a grab bag of 12 items back that have been mixed up and so you're getting all kinds of good stuff and I pretty much try to make sure that you don't get anything that you sent in back and that, again that depends on how many people join so with that being said um, I'm on to the July Buck Ben swap and these are the items that I purchased in this swap we decided last month it was just kind of a random free-for-all and you could buy from any store you wanted to for June well July we decided that we were going to uh, put a list of stores down that had dollar bins in it and you got to pick the dollar bin uh, store that you'd like to purchase all of your 12 items from so and when that happened you would just uh, message uh, into on the comments in that swap you know I'd like to uh, have my store be Michaels I'd like to have my store be the 99 cent store I'd like to have my store be Buckarama whatever the case may be and then your name would be placed by that store in the swap and that's where you would purchase your 12 items from well I chose Daiso because I am not too far from a Daiso and I absolutely love swapping from there so anyways, here I am rambling, and I hate videos that ramble on, so I just needed to give that explanation. But these are the per these are the things that I bought to send in for the Buck of Ben swap from Daiso. First of all, I bought these cute little clips, and, you know, these can be used for anything in general, but they also are great for Valentine's. There's some with little hearts here and stars and bows and... Um, little bubbles so these are those fancy fold back clips and I just thought these were adorable and you get 14 pieces in these okay then I got these handicraft pins and these are large pins these are I'm not sure you can use them for charm pins or whatever you like but there's six pieces in here and they're that brushed brass and uh, they're just really cool to use and they do give you a little bit of a picture back here of what you can do with it where you can put some lace on it and some beads and some dangles or whatever you'd like to do with it so those are real fun and look at this packaging I tell you Daiso does some good stuff in their packaging and if you're real careful about tearing some of this stuff off you can save a lot of it and use it for um, I can never say that word, so I'm not even going to try, but y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? So I bought that, and then I got these cute little charms, and who doesn't want charms? I hope I'm in the frame here, and uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little charms here, and there's a little mirror, a couple little sewing machines, a couple little lockets, some cute little crazy wonky looking clocks, and a couple of Eiffel Towers. So um, these are just wonderful. You can use them on keychains, dangles, nope, your uh, daily planners. Um, oh my gosh, just multi-uses for those little craft charms. Along with that, I sort of kind of bought these. Uh, it's not the same brass, yeah, brushed brass, but these are silver. And these are handy little clips for all kinds of little... Um, charms and different things like that and you get four pieces in here and these clips are real durable so no worries about these breaking or you know coming undone or anything like that they're not made cheaply they're made really well because i've used them before so and see here they show where they've got a little bear charm hanging off of it and it looks like it might be on a purse so you know you could use it for your backpack or whatever whatever you'd like to use them for Then I bought these cute little decorative buttons. Can you believe those are buttons? Those are just really cute. I'll kind of hold it up here a little bit closer and hope that it focuses in. But these two right here are little crowns. And then these three right here look to me as if they're like those four leaf clovers. But real cute. 
and you could use those for a multiple of things also okay now I bought these now some of you may think you know what in the heck did she buy gloves for but these are so shabby chic that I thought you know some of you crafters are just so ingenious that you could somebody could decorate these up and uh, make something out of them. you know how they decorate those shoes and all kinds of crazy stuff like that I thought that these were so pretty and so shabby chic looking gloves that somebody could decorate these up and do something with them so I bought um, a pair of these just for the heck of it to see and it is one set of gloves so we got those okay and then I also bought this trim right here all these things are $1.50 a piece by the way in case you're not uh, familiar with Daiso Japan stores um, pretty much anything in the store is $1.50 unless it's otherwise marked which I'd say probably 90% of the whole store is $1.50 on their items so this is that white puffy little puffy ball trim and here's some little tiny uh, lace trim Thought somebody could use that and these always I love these little puffy balls for trims they're just so stinking cute okay then we got these jewelry spoons and these are two piece jewelry spoons and look at what's on the end of those are those too stinking cute or what they have got uh, um, I want to say rhinestones but they're not rhinestones but anyways they're just really cute aren't they I thought those would be adorable in a tea album or an Alice in Wonderland album or anything like that but just darn cute so I picked those up also I saw these little teeny tiny bows look at how big they are in comparison to my pit my finger and you get 20 of these in a pack these you can use for anything right girls lots of fun stuff with that and you could even use these on your charms too so don't forget about that okay then we have these shiny um, I forget what they're called they're um, pod plants or something like that but anyways they're good for Christmas you know you can put them in your Christmas uh, spray and and use those inside of there so I went ahead and picked those up picked one up in gold for myself too so I was going to use them for something but I figured they would be getting this swap okay also picked up this keychain is that a cool keychain I'm I mean this thing is screaming steampunk to me all the way and it's got a couple of claw clamps on it and let me tell you these things are sturdy and you got three chains hanging down from here also is it three or four yeah three chains here let me put it on my hand here so you can get a better look see okay so you got the little ball chain you got that chain and you got that chain and then you have these two clamps now you know you don't have to use this as a keychain you can tear it apart and use it for all kinds of stuff so it's got the claw on it and the big ring too and I believe that's like a yeah that's like a jump ring so anyways you could use that for a multiple of things okay and last but not least and I think that's my 12 items was I really liked the different colors in these spring clamps and you get 20 I'm sorry 12 pieces in here and uh, I'll put my finger up to it so you can sort of get an idea of the size of them so but anyways I really liked the fact that they were a bunch of different colors great for spring fall or Christmas because it's got all the colors in it so anyways that's my 12 items for july swap and um, i'm looking forward to it so if you're interested in joining that swap it is still open and it's over on yourpaperpantry.ning.com just go in and look for product swap and look up buck ben swap for july and feel free to join us we have a great time Thanks again. This is Echo92503 on YouTube. Keep watching my channel because you never know what you're going to see next. Thanks. Bye.